guys, it's Ruby and today I want to talk to you about cultivating a positive mindset. Now I'm someone who identifies as a change maker and as a change maker I know that the most important thing that we can do to change the world is to change the world within ourselves first. You see, when you radiate positivity, you put yourself in a better position to be an inspiration and of service to other people. That, and when you come from a positive place, you become a magnet for all good things, good experiences, good opportunities, and good people. To put it simply, I firmly believe that once you fill your mind with good thoughts, your life becomes filled with great things. But of course, reprogramming our mind to operate from the positive is a lot easier said than done. For some odd reason, society has taught us to default onto the negative, focusing on the bad. But even though changing our minds can be a long process, it begins by implementing small, habit-forming gestures that can have a long-term impact. And so in today's episode, I want to share with you a few things that I've implemented in my own life to cultivate a lifestyle of positivity. I hope it'll help you too. So the first insight I want to share is this. Remember that your words have incredible power. Think about it. If you're constantly saying things to yourself like, I'm ugly, I'm stupid, my life sucks, you begin to act from that state of mind and people around you will act accordingly. After all, people only treat you the way that you treat yourself and life is all about how you look at it. Everything is about perspective. So if you choose to iterate as much good words as you can, you can begin to shift your reality and see the good things that are around you. Which leads me to my next piece of advice, which is to create affirmations. I define affirmations as powerful statements that declare positive ideas about ourselves and the reality that we want to create. So for example, if I want to create an affirmation to cultivate more confidence in my career, I might say something like, I am successful, I am capable, and all the right doors are appearing along my path. I might say that affirmation to myself over and over again, or better yet, I would keep it on my wall on a post-it so I can look at it every morning, and that thought will be the start to my day. The third piece of advice that I have is to practice gratitude. How often do we complain about the things that we don't have instead of giving thanks for all the blessings that are already existing in our lives? When we recognize those blessings, we allow the space for us to receive even more. I often start my mornings off by listing at least five things that I'm grateful for. That way, every time I'm tempted to complain or have a bad thought, I quickly replace those thoughts with the things that I'm grateful for. That way, I'm able to operate from a space of abundance instead of scarcity, and it makes a world of a difference. Remember, your happiness begins and ends with you, and it's a proactive choice that you can make right here, right now. However, you are human, and it's impossible to be positive all the time. The goal isn't to eliminate all the bad days because we all have them. The goal is merely to help you bounce back so that you can get back on track as quickly as possible. It might take some time to cultivate this positive mindset, but each small step leads to great progress. So here's to you rising and shining to the woman you are meant to become. Until next time.